Hello everybody, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviani and this is my co-host Athena and today we are watching Death Battle, Sanji vs. Rock Lee and I think that's going to be a rip-roaring good time. How about you? Okay, or she's just here for look good for the camera. She always looks good for the camera. Come on. Look at that. Look at that beautiful parrot face. There's beautiful parrot eyes. She went to the vet the other day. She's very, very healthy. The only thing he's concerned about is her still feather picking, but <laughs> Yeah, we gotta we gotta get you some stuff to block that, huh? I ordered her a like a Velcro collar. It's gonna be very interesting to look at. <laughs> I'll, there's definitely gonna be videos of that later on. Anyway. I did there's some so sound checks. With crazy over the top superpowers, and but there's one class they only kind of work. Respects. The master of the martial arts. Like Sanji, the sous chef of the Straw Hat Pirates searching for the One Piece. Sounds and good. Lee, the hardworking ninja warrior from the village of Naruto. He's with right. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. What do you think, baby? <laughs> Somewhere in the vast ocean is a seafaring land of science. The kingdom of Germa. When the All king right. of germs decided to churn out some kids, he got an awesome hey, Route idea. 66. How about he make his kids into killer emotionless super soldiers? What could All go right wrong? then. He forced his queen to undergo surgery that would enhance their of a fan. So she took a drug meant to counteract the effects to hopefully ensure that at least one of her children was you know, emotionally stable. A surprisingly low bar to aim for, but hey, good for her. Yeah, you would and think. She pulled it off. While most of her children were violent sociopaths, one showed no signs of their shared superhuman An genetics. An ad already? This is Sanji. <sighs> no, hey, this you. is an uh, an ad that I'm going to fucking yeah, downvote. Good. Don't you want to play some? Oh my god. Uh, the poor kid didn't have a great childhood. Vince I mean, he was smoke. surrounded by actual superhuman really? bullies. Inspired by in Steve Buscemi and Reservoir Dogs, well, seriously. Until she died, and then he was thrown in a dungeon. Look, I told you his childhood sucked. Fortunately, like Sanji eventually considerably escaped longer than thanks to some thought. help from his sister, who I guess was slightly less of a sociopath, and made his way slightly across the sea less? as a cook. Until he was shipwrecked and left marooned. Poor guy just can't catch a break. But Sanji found a new daddy in the form of pirate red leg Zef, who trained him in his own martial art. Black leg style. All right Wait, then. Let me red leg style. I'm confused. It's an art that focuses exclusively on kicks, which worked out swimmingly for Sanji. Swimmingly. No puns are my job. <laughs> I don't need you pirating that for me. He firmly believes his hands have no place in a fight. To him, they should be kept as what pristine is as possible for cooking. Smoking. I know that athletic. happens a lot in real Even life. Even if his own life is in serious danger, he will not break like, this self-imposed rule. You gotta hand it to really, him. Black leg is like taking it would defeat the purpose. Because you couldn't taste anything. High flying footwork and mixing them all up like a stew. Plus you smell horrible. And just like a tasty dish, he named his attacks after a bunch of French words, which I definitely cannot pronounce. Though the most oh, important absolutely to recognize not. is Diable Jean, also known as the Devil Leg. By moving at incredibly high speeds, Sanji builds up friction between the air okay, and his Okay, see, here's the thing. Most of this stuff is just names. Okay, so this stuff here is building up friction. I hope you guys can see the, the mouse on the screen. Wait, one of his names is Frieza Sorties, Assorted Fries. Party Table Kick Course, okay. Literally catches on fire. To oh, do yes. so, he'd have to be moving his legs over 11,000 meters per second. Yeah, that move's pretty lit. Clearly, Sanji's super fast. Is that the He's quick enough Russian to keep up with the pirate showed. captain Luffy, who effortlessly dodged laser beams from a robot man bear guy. It, it, it's a long story. That's it one made piece sense in a nutshell. Context. A very, very long story. Sanji's got plenty of other skills. He can kick your face so hard it makes you as handsome as that devil George Clooney. Oh, brother. <laughs> then he can start blasting and Danny DeVito you back to normal with another. And with the skywalk technique, he can literally walk on air by... Listen that? to this. 
Flicking his heels so quickly, he creates dozens of miniature sonic booms beneath his feet. I don't think that's how that sonic booms work, but I appreciate insane. the pseudoscience. Note to self, never skip leg day. In fact, <laughs> forget the other days. All days are now leg day. I appreciate Sanji that they tried. found a true family as a chef for the Straw Hat Pirates. With them at his side, he began a hunt for the All Blue, a mythical location where every ocean in the world connects and all manner of sea life exists. A perfect spot I mean, for technically, a chef don't all sea. oceans connect? But just like all of us, he had to deal with his first and much crazier family at some point. And when he did, he got an upgrade. This is the Raid Suit, a miraculous outfit with hover boots, invisibility, I never got this air far. boosters for increased kicking power, and a snazzy cape. Conveniently, the suit is stored in an easy to carry canister that can be opened for a magical girl transformation. Like so. Oh, is this beer? Wait a minute. If that's my beer, what am I drinking? <laughs> I'm going to either need to go to the bathroom or the hospital. While Sanji may not possess the, the superhuman ability of his siblings, he has learned something similar yet entirely different hockey. Gazunde. This power lets people push their body to new limits in a bunch of different ways. All like right. with armament hockey, he can make himself hard. <laughs> Specifically to strengthen his limbs for ironclad defense and strong right. attacks. However, that sounds Sanji's interesting. own speciality is Kenbunchoku, or observation hockey. With I this, see. Sanji can detect the presence of others, including through walls. He can even huh. predict future events, at least to some extent. And hanging with the straw hats, let him push his abilities to the limit. Attack. He's strong enough okay. to keep up with the likes of Zoro, one of the deadliest swordsmen in the freaking world. And he could battle the marine Fujitora, who could summon meteors from I the sky, the largest of which, when compared to Rosa, appears to have a diameter of over 780 meters, okay. and thus a kinetic energy of over 12 gigatons of TNT. So, like, he fought a guy who could basically blow up a whole island in a snap, and then some. Okay. Let me know the next time you find a cook who can pull that off. He has his fair share of weaknesses, though. <laughs> Sanji well, sees himself as a gentleman Iron and thus refuses to it. fight a lady at any cost, even his own life. And, uh, he's absolutely terrified of drag queens. That didn't age well. But even with the setbacks and a horrifying childhood, Sanji is a man of the moment, an adventurer with a goal. One day he will surely discover the all blue, and whatever else comes after that. However long it takes. For a light. Appreciate it. Didn't they say that the series is like 60% done or something oh. like that? Allergies. Mm -hmm. I don't get Sounds to downvote like this ad. Set up an appointment with a doctor. Um actually just a moment. I am getting a phone call. Pause. <laughs> well, ironically enough, that was Nutbug. The one who lent me One Piece is like a major super fan. <laughs> so that's funny. I was telling her about this. Village hidden in the leaves is this a land not of look phenomenal very hidden ninja. To From Naruto to Sasuke to Kakashi, we've seen them show off their awesome talent on death <laughs> battle before. But one yep. ninja student sought to prove that talent wasn't naturally born. That talent could be achieved through nothing but hard work. This is that? Rock Lee. <laughs> At first, Bull Cut's path to being a ninja was bro. anything but promising. See, the best ninja can use all sorts of ninja <laughs> magic called ninjutsu or genjutsu, but not Rocky over here. Essentially, Lee was born <laughs> with a disability, unable to access the living chakra energies within his body the same way his peers could. But while this really not made much of a for him, he parallel to train, between any sort of real disability a there is splendid but... ninja. Too bad he got paired up with Neji, who might as well have the word prodigy stamped on his forehead. Uh, hello, Irony. There it with is. With no real family to speak of, <laughs> Lee had no one to guide him on his difficult path. Fortunately, he found inspiration in the form of a fellow bowl cut individual. My guy, a man who Fortunately, this guy found him before Team cool Galactic could. And incredibly weird. Guy saw Lee's potential and trained incredibly him to master the art the of Taijutsu a ninja's physical prowess using chakra, body, and mind. So he's not gonna be shooting fireballs or popping up clones of himself like the other guys, but he's gonna Dang. learn how to punch harder than anyone. And cool. Actually, that's exactly the point of his martial art. Strong fist, a style that's all about shattering bones. Not just cool, any cool. ninja can master the form of strong fist. 
in the hands of a novice, it's a dangerous technique. Yeah, well, yeah, move, I can you imagine. Can accidentally break your own limbs. Drunken fist only by well and evil. You know you're supposed like to fake it. This killer drop on steroids. The primary lotus, a technique so useful that many other ninja tried to copy it for themselves. Okay. What a bunch of cheaters. He's also got this <laughs> potion, and if he drinks it, he goes into a super zen state that makes Hang him on a second. invincible. How old did it say he was? Oh, it didn't. He goes into a super <laughs> zen state that makes him basically say, isn't this like Ninja High School? Incorrect as usual, Boomstick. That was due to American censorship. Right, it wasn't a potion, it was sake. Somehow Lee's susceptibility to alcohol turns him into an instant expert in the drunken fist, based on I an actual see. martial art. You know, we as I well, I mean, it's technically to try a that potion. style myself and uh, Brood and stuff. I have had a few. Watch this. Flail. Correction. Real drunken boxers only emulate the movements of the inebriated. They're not yeah, actually see? ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> You know a game that needs a, a good drunken fist character is Street anyway, Fighter. When Rocky Road isn't totally sloshed, he's got one more ace up his sleeve. <laughs> the eight gates. In the world of Naruto, eight metaphorical gates exist within the human body, inspired by real-world Buddhist teachings of opening oneself to achieve enlightenment. But in Lee's right. case, it's opening a can of whoop ass. Nice. I like that horrible myth about humans using only one small part of their brain. Each open gate increases <laughs> Lee's abilities in some way. For example, the first gate allows Lee to utilize 100% of his body's potential by removing inherent mental and physical inhibitions. The third so, gate lets him expend enough chocolate Kind of like when people get an adrenaline boost to move heavy objects. The, lotus. Eh, the first few gates are pretty chill, even if they do wear him out. Thing is, the more gates you open, the more dangerous it gets. But Lee wasn't yeah. afraid. By the age of 13, he could unlock five of the eight gates. More than enough to keep up with the likes of Neji and honorary Green Day member Gara. He's almost <laughs> as quick as Naruto, who's dodged light speed attacks. And when he opened the sixth gate, he used it to slice up a giant meteor. Comparing the scale of the meteor to Konoha's mountainside, and assuming Lee contributed his fair share to this group task, he must have produced a force Seven equal to about 230 meteor. megatons of TNT. Nice. The average nuclear bomb has a yield of about 5 megatons, so getting hit by 6 gate Lee is like having 50 nukes exploding in your face. Now, Lee has admittedly never used the last two gates. However, there are multiple claims that he's mastered them by adulthood. And frankly, as the successor to Mike Guy, who did unlock all eight gates, Lee should be competent. And nearly Guy killed himself in the process. The size of an island with the seventh gate. <laughs> with the eighth, he could go head to head with the ultimate big bad, Madara. This creep was packing more power than when Naruto's chakra blew a hole through the moon. Oh my. 400 pentaton explosion. That's way bigger than 50 nukes. Hell, the yeah, that's a lot bigger. The fabric of space. Just one small problem. Opening the eighth gate puts an immense toll on the I body. I mean, the technically anything you do is uh, altering the fabric of space. I'm doing this. There's all the air molecules and gravity and stuff. It's getting messed with. <laughs> Open it, you've essentially guaranteed your own death. Yeah, but who cares as long as you take your foe with you. Under Guy's training and with the help of his friends, <laughs> Lee has shown that as he we've is seen before. a splendid ninja. Though he Very never quite season. got the chance to prove himself against Neji. Well, according to the wisdom of Gamey Boomstick, one's dead and the other isn't, so I think I know who won. <laughs> Packed Boomstick. Now the villager's expert instructor in Taijutsu and with a kid of his very own, it seems Aww. Rock Lee's hard work truly did pay off in the end. <laughs> I like the voice crack. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, if you want some of Lee and Sanji's fiery determination in the sack, check nope. out Blue Chew. This episode is Might as well just get right into it. Uh, an ad already? Valorant is a 5 
I don't want an ad. Just like this ad. It's like all ads on principle. I refuse to eat this. It's far too mild. Lacking in the fiery youth of true spicy curry. Mild. <laughs> this is the most perfectly balanced curry around. <laughs> I see Fight. your fighting skills match your skill in cooking. Adjust, adjust. Show your chef some respect. Drunken style. Respect? I'm a, I'm a paying customer. And that curry was awful. <laughs> don't, don't you like that? Look at me like that. <laughs> He's the burning eye. I don't remember what that indicated. Looks like he's sobering up. Ah, the hot foot. Picky eaters are the worst. <laughs> um, why is everything so loud? Fifth gate, open! It just goes straight to the fifth gate, huh? Ah! Sixth gate of fuel, open! What do they all do though? They're just really going overkill on this guy. <laughs> Magical girl transformation. Could not understand anything he said. Ooh. That should be some tense. Eighth gate. Eighth gate oh boy. Open! So he's never actually used this, but he apparently can. Ooh. He blew his hand off. I thought Since it you would. Finish your food. I'm making you cough up whatever you've already eaten. Oh God. Can't you manage? Oh. oh. Looks like mild suited you best. My dish was too spicy for you. The end. <laughs> KO. Well, I guess Lee can finally have that bout with Neji now. Given Lee's oh, years God. of experience and the power of the eight gates, he definitely kept Sanji on his toes. But Sanji was no slouch himself. Why does it strike me that Rock was out of character? With his I don't know why, because I've never seen the show, but just from what we drunken knew. Fist. And while the seventh gate meant Lee could probably blow up an island, that's not as big as the meteors the Straw Hats could handle. Simply put, Lee had only one somewhat reliable method of a possible victory, the eighth gate. A mm -hmm. suicide move he's never actually used before. Not really the best argument for a win on its own. But yeah. But number eight could take on Madara. Sanji's tough, yeah, but he's definitely not on that guy's level. A couple big hits from the eighth gate and Sanji's nothing but pace, so... What or do? dust. Well, Lee would have to hit him first. While Sanji's power may not compare to the eighth gate, his speed is far beyond. Only Recall barely. Recall his fellow oh, rubber wow. rabble rouser Luffy, uh, very patiently waited for a light speed laser to reach him before dodging. <laughs> to pull this very off, patiently. Luffy would have had to move 13 times faster than light. Sanji didn't Interesting. keep up with Luffy, and this was before he even got his super fast raid suit. Don't get us wrong, the power of the 8th gate is incredible. If we were to run this fight a hundred yeah. more rounds, Lee would surely land a winning blow with it a few times. But more often okay, than now that, you see why I think why, why, why I thought it was his Given hand. his speed, raid suit, observation hockey, and his fiery footwork, Sanji had everything he needed to outlast Lee's youthful determination for a victory. Guess you could say he had a leg up on Rock Lee, hand over fist. <laughs> or I guess foot over fist, but you get it. The winner is Sanji. 
Oh my. Shoot. What's wrong? I think I'm down to my Stop last day Don't worry, you can refill it and get it delivered. <sighs> okay, good for Sanji. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Now, Bye. come back next. I had heard. Uh, I had heard people saying on the D Discord that the last that the season finale is going to be Broly versus Hulk, which strikes me as I don't know, really unbalanced. I mean, Broly can level a solar system, no, a galaxy, and just strikes me that his only opponent should be Asura. But I don't know. There's apparently different versions of Hulk, like one called World War Hulk, which is apparently the strongest or something. Is there something called Infernal Hulk? I don't. See previews of our upcoming matchups. If you want to watch more stuff, you can click the boxes uh, right around here, on. and you can always pick up some TV merch at store.roosterteeth.com. Uh, a hand. It. Really? It really is Hulk versus Broly. Really? Asura versus Broly. Come on! They're driven by blind rage. They can level solar systems basically by thinking too hard. <laughs> what do you think, girl? I don't know. And when are we going to get... The, um, oh, golly. Uh, well, Galactus versus Unicron is one that was talked about that's going to happen at some point. They basically confirmed that Dio versus Alucard is going to be next Halloween, so we know when that's going to be. Um, but the one, uh, the guy from Infamous, not Delson Rowe, but the other one, uh, I could remember his name earlier. I don't remember it now. But he was supposed to be in a death battle, right? Excuse. I think the problem with Infamous is that you'd have to decide if he has the good powers or the evil powers. Excuse you, Athena. Hi. So, Netbug will be very happy to hear about Sanji winning. <laughs> okay, so I guess I will see you guys in two weeks. I don't know, I don't really have much to say about that other than that it seemed like Rock Lee had his hand blown off and then he suddenly had two hands and it was actually Sanji's leg that got blown off, but it did not look like that in the animation at first. Because <laughs> you could not see his hand. So it was, it was weird. Okay. Well, anyway, though, I'm going to go. I am super t tired. I'm having that feeling of, you know, where it's like you're feeling like you're being pulled into the ground. Oh, you silly, silly bird. I have birdies to play with. You hear Sonic in the background. You see her kind of in the middle there. Yeah. <clears throat> so I have birdies to play with. So I will see you all later. Until next time. <sighs> I am Blackjack Gaviani and you are not. Athena.